well, well, welcome to the Architects of Fate streaming extravaganza. That's right, you found the self-proclaimed original Twitch TTRPG stream that lets you shake up our world. Now pay attention because this is how it works. If you'd like to add some loops to this roller coaster ride of the show, you're gonna need fake chips. Now these magical loyalty points can be earned just by watching, following, hosting, subscribing, or just engaging with us in the chat. It's like free money, Pete. With your fate chips, you can use your powers as an architect to heal your favorite players, summon items that will make their adventure a lot easier, or a lot harder. You can even make players say or sing outrageously silly things. Think of those possibilities. But, but wait, 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 there is more. You can also toss our unsuspecting heroes into random encounters that will leave them sweating, strategizing, and questioning their life choices. All it takes is a quick redeem command in the chat. You choose the item or action and the player you want to mess with, and we'll take it from there. So sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a mind-blowing spectacle of storytelling and mayhem. We've got adventure, we've got drama, and more surprises than a clown car at a kid's birthday party. So let's go! Hello and welcome back to the Architects of Fate. Tonight we will be continuing our adventure through Tomb of Annihilation, an adventure module for Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. Tonight we are joined by our whole cadre of misfits, misbegottens, and new additions to the party. We have Pwn Donkeys playing Aladdin, the Yonti Warlock. Hey, I'm a snake. Uh, we have Jeff playing Kenneth Noisewater, the halfling monk slash fighter, now slash rogue. Hello, I'm not a snake. We have Felix as Scrod, the human barbarian. We have Keyblader as the Cure, the Goblin Artificer. Hello, every snake. Of course, we have Not Too Shabby playing Jaeger Bruise, the Human Ranger slash Wizard. You can also find me on my only snakes. <laughs> and to mitigate the will of the snakes, that's you. I am DM Dave. <laughs> no, not that one. And to get us back up to speed on last week's Visit Snake Chers, we have another edition of Letters to Snakey from Snake. So Snake, please snake us a snake. Go. <laughs> Love. Rod. <laughs> Uh, which translated reads. Oh, which translated <laughs> reads. Uh, so, dear Lenny, uh, uh, this guy showed up who calls himself DM Dave, but not that Dave. And he had a really bad wig, and I think he's a priest of a god, Chad. And he's got a metal tablet, and uh, he used to have a boomstick, but I don't know. I think I think Al took it off of him. Um, he also, like, communes with someone who is a good devil, and we don't think that's a good idea. And uh, some kind of Goliath. I don't, I, he's weird. He talks to the air a lot. Um, but anyway, uh, Al tried to read his mind. That didn't go well. Uh, but either way, Al then set his mind from reading it to revenge. And he and uh, this Dave guy have been uh, putting down, uh, uh, who was it, Jenkins? No, Withers. And, uh, yeah, I, I suspect that they probably pulled me and, um, who was it, me and Jaeger out of a, out of a tight spot that we never knew we were actually in. <laughs> and, uh, we were able to help Kenneth and the Cure retrieve a key of some sort. And while we were at it, um, while Kenneth and, and the Cure were exploring around, they found, wouldn't you know it, more glass eyes. People need to stop this. But apparently there's a puzzle. So that makes it all good. Um, anyway, we got we all got back together. It looks like uh, this DM Dave guy can maybe tell the future, but maybe not. 
Uh, he is kind of scrawny, and I think that uh, uh, Al may have hit him on the head with a fortune-telling stone a little hard, because he looks a little <laughs> wobbly. And uh, we felt sorry for him, so I think at least Jaeger and I, I gave him a pants, which I think go up around his neck. And uh, Jaeger gave him a helmet, which I think comes all the way down past his shoulders. But um, we'll see what happens, because I guess there's some kind of a monster we have to fight next, Lenny. And, um, you know, take care. Uh, I have a good feeling that maybe Dakar might be nearby. So, uh, you know, let them know back home. Love, Scrod. And Scrod entrusts yet another letter to the uh, rushing waters below that uh, somehow he only has access to and surely leads to Lenny. Surely, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it is, I mean, it's your nighttime, let's say. Everybody is, or, or not everybody, but a good, the cure certainly took a beating uh, in, the, in the windy room. Uh, and I believe the plan was last time uh, to take a rest before uh, taking on this, uh, what, what DM Dave described to you as a death tyrant. Uh, what was supposed to be a beholder, but he beefed it up for some reason. Oh, yeah. Say that again. So it's his fault? Uh, yes. Do we know that? I, <laughs> he said that. If, if I recall correctly, he he sort of that that came out of his mouth before he really had a chance uh, to stop it, uh, and then he sort of went. But it's it's okay. You guys you guys can take it. You guys you guys have been fine so far. Uh, so far. <laughs> this, this is one of the monsters that dreams dreams realities, right? And messes with the fabric of everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, so a, a death tyrant uh, is essentially an undead beholder. It's It's got a few extra resistances. Here, let me pop it open. I want to I wanna, um, carve it up. Take the yeah, I'm gonna look over your shoulder. Are you looking on that I silver camera? Has thing? An eye, actually. Uh, no, he he is just going off of what he can remember from the what whatever he had prepared from the moment that he entered the dungeon. He no longer has access to uh, his notes. Um, but he he's, he says. I, I think the biggest difference is it's 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 cone the the big eye cone in the middle it's not it's not an anti magic thing but if you if you are in the in the way of its cone you you can't get uh, hit points back you can't you can't like get healthier you can't have anybody do cure wounds on you or drink a potion or anything like that it'll just and also, if you die in there, you you just die, and become a zombie. Oh, shit. So. Well, uh, I mean, based on the death curse, we die. We just die anyway. Right. Yeah. But there's no like. I mean, you know how sometimes. Well, I, mean, I don't think you. Maybe you've never gone down. But sometimes, if if someone goes down, like you, you're, there's like a little bit of a window where you can save them before they're like really kaput. Oh, it's, this there's none of that. Perfect. There's none of that. No, as soon as you you get boom, you're down, you're zombie. So, mm. um, I don't. Uh, you sh you guys should probably set watches. I know it's like a, it's like a closed off room, but well, I think um, we made we we made uh, DM Dave take all the watches. Okay, I mean, I do. <laughs> I've got. I have to attune to these these things, which again, thank you, thank you guys. Uh, I I do really I really appreciate it. Uh, um, you'll, you'll definitely die without them. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna. I I, I want to pull the gun out and point it directly at DM Dave and go. How does this thing okay. work? And just start uh, waving it around. Yeah. Don't. So. So yeah. It's basically if you point at someone and oh, then huh? there's there's a little just. It's like your Eldritch Blast. You point oh. it at something. Okay. But instead of doing it magically, you do it mechanically, kind of like like the cure does. Like he he does magic with all his potions and stuff. This is oh, like okay, okay. If you pull the trigger, pointing it at somebody, it will hurt them a lot. And if you point it at me and pull it, you have a chance of just killing me. So, I would love it if you didn't. <laughs> all right, everybody, keep that in mind. It's as easy as uh, pulling a, a tr trigger. Is what you call it? You call it a trigger. Yeah, that little curvy bit underneath, uh, underneath there, that little curvy bit. Don't pull that. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And everybody, if 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 this guy outlives his usefulness, just let me know. Mm. Listen, though, I literally none of you need any help to kill me. You could, you could do it so easily. It it is it me or does it sound like he's like he's like. At, like egging us on like you guys don't need any help you guys can <laughs> easily take care of me uh make an insight check okay maybe he wants you to try right i'm, I'm, I'm curious <laughs> yeah. i mean who am i to stand in the way of someone's true desires insight uh that's a nat 20 21 total um you can tell he is scared absolutely shitless got it okay Okay. Um, yeah, he he truly believes that any of you, with literally your weakest ability, could turn him into a paste. Why? Why well, see that he's scared too? Uh, uh, if you're, are, are you, are you paying attention to him? Intently. All right. Yeah. Make make an insight check as well. Uh, insight. All right. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, he, he looks. He looks like he's. He's well, actually. Let's let's roll performance for. A, he looks okay. Oh. Uh, honestly, he's. He looks like he's holding it together really well. He's just. He's just giving a frank assessment of your abilities, which honestly you you would probably agree with. He looks pretty. He, I mean, maybe once he gets the pants on and the, and the helmet, he he might be some kind of. Uh, some kind of threat, but as of now, uh, he, he's just looking around at all of you, and clearly he is the least powerful among you. Like a Pez. Yeah. <laughs> you step on his foot and his head goes, boom. <laughs> all right. Uh, so who will be taking first watch with DM Dave? I'll, I'll oh. take first watch. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's okay. I, just, um, I know uh, Jaeger's going to be very excited to dig into this death tyrant. So, yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll actually like snuggle next to DM Dave and kind of bodyguard him as a standing operating procedure. Thanks, you are. Tiny, and, and he may know where Dakar is, so I'm kind of open for that. <laughs> um, Dave, uh, sort of like freezes a little bit when when you get close, but then he he sort of relaxes. Uh, and goes, yeah, just, oh boy, you are right so oily. We made jokes about it all the time, but you really just are the oiliest. But it is, but it's soft. <laughs> so soft, oily. Soft, oily, mushy, <clears throat> mushy, mushy, pecky pillow. I only, I only need a short rest, so I can, I can like, like sleep for an hour, and then you know, I can, I can rock out with you, a uh, 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 weird ceiling guy. Okay. All right. Um, so we'll just I'll uh, so Scrods first, yep. Jaeger next, then Aladine, and then uh, I, I, can, I don't know. I can, I can I can take one. And we got Kenneth. All right. Woohoo! Where <laughs> are we at? Okay. Uh, so uh, it's it's Scrod and and uh, DM Dave. Um. As as everybody else is starting to uh, relax a little bit, as as much as you can in this dank dungeon, um, 
Scrad, you can tell uh, DM Dave has like sort of wormed his way into the into the purple pants. Um, and the, they they actually have have uh, tightened to to even his scrawny form, mm-hmm. uh, and you can see his his skin at at the belly. Well, no, not yet. Um, he's he's sort of uh, stretching and 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 pulling at the pants every so often, and just uh, you know, kind of. Just looking, he looks. He looks a little concerned. I, I'll just let him know that it's okay. The inseam, the inseam works out okay. Okay. I'm gonna help check the cuffs. I'm gonna roll the cuffs up a little, like you're, uh, you're, you're going to high school or uh, going to grade school. And oh yeah, you'll grow into these. You'll you'll grow into them. You'll you'll be fine. Thank you. Oh. Just, I, um. He he. Uh. He sort of. Reaches reaches behind you and uh, uh, plucks something out of the um, out out of a, a patch of the this sort of purplish mold that's that's grown into many corners of this uh, level of the dungeon, uh, and he pulls out a small wheel. Um, this, this little, um, uh, sort of, sort of metallic, uh, circular disc shaped thing that's got all these, all these different colors on it. Um, and he, he just sort of, he scans over it, uh, and then looks, looks up out into the middle distance and goes... Thank you, Mr. Goliath, man, for the redeem. I know this was you. I, this is either going to help me or it's going to fuck me, but here we go. I think it's the wrong shape that's going to fuck you. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> it's going to hurt. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's I don't know be... if I heard that. <laughs> it was. It, he said it out loud. Okay. Now I'm just concerned. For, I'm gonna for poke better, at the, I'm gonna poke at the purple stuff now. And just like <laughs> scrape it. He's like, nope. Uh, it's just sort of the the consistency, and um, uh, also the scent of grape jelly. <laughs> gonna try it. It it tastes like grape jelly as well. Okay, great. It doesn't seem very nutritious, but... That's okay. I'm vegan. Uh, you both also, at, at that moment, look over at, at Shrek. Um, and you could have sworn that a second ago he was wearing that sort of uh, black, skin-tight uh, uniform that, that sort of glommed onto him at a certain point. Uh, but now he's dressed in this um, white flowing cloak over uh, a, a red sort of jerkin and leather boots, gauntlets, uh, a strap across his chest, uh, leaning up against the the corner of the room. Uh, and DM Dave again narrows his eyes and says, I... I Yes, thank you, Mr. Goliath Man. <laughs> I'm not sure what that one's about, but he does look cool. Um, other than that, uh, the rest of your uh, watch with DM Dave goes uneventfully, yeah. uh, unless there's there's anything else uh, that you want to that you want to bring up or talk to him about during the during yeah, the course of a couple like, hours. Well, Mostly like, uh, you know, if Chad's going to be able to help us get out of this, because I'd, I'd like to see my family again. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> this might sound a little cliche, but I, I honestly believe that it's true. Chad giveth and Chad taketh away. Uh, mm. But I think on par... 
uh, our our chat uh, giveth a little bit more than they taketh away. And I'm almost regretting saying that out loud because I think I think that might start to change right now. But um, taketh our life away. <laughs> but I think uh, honestly, I think you guys, I I really expected. Uh, a lot, a lot more uh, issues going through this dungeon. But you guys have really, and, and honestly, the whole the whole time you've been in Schult, you guys have really uh, pulled it out. You've done some great stuff, and hey, I, so I think you guys got it. So you've been watching us this whole time. <laughs> yeah, through through chat, all things are possible. <laughs> but 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 chat didn't warn us about the lich. No, that was. Um, that's kind of kind of shitty. Y yeah, and if it if it makes you feel better, I know that Jacob's soul is in the cell longer, but it has not been destroyed. So there is still oh. a chance. The okay, brothers know where the body is, and we will be able. We will. We will make sure that that he's okay. Okay. I mean, because if anybody became a priest of such a terrible god, they'd be a really rotten person. Yeah, it's. I honestly don't know what I'm doing anymore. Oh no! I mean, if anybody else became a priest of him too. <laughs> Knowing, yeah, knowing what they were getting into, yeah. Yeah, I think they need to think that over. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna let you go and wake up, uh, wake up, Al. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Thanks. Nah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dave, Dave waves at you from across the. Um, oh, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's that was enough. <laughs> that was enough for us. I guess that was enough for us. Well, yeah, it was a short rest, so yeah. yeah. So that's what you need. You'll get the you'll get the long rest. You get actually, you look fine. So yeah, no. It's I just need this. I just I I just need to be able to cast spells. It's exhausting being a warlock. Yeah. Oh, I did actually. Um, I was I was curious. I kind of feel like it's it's weird. Um, I did just get here, and it's not like I, I know wizards. Oh, sorry, I'm wearing my wig. Um, <laughs> Hold on. But I know I know you have you have Uba. Yeah. You know, Uba's got got his little guy. How do you? I know I know it's fine familiar, but how do you how do you do fine? familiar how do you do find familiar i well i i usually don't i don't think about it i just kind of like go off into a corner and i like think really hard about uba okay so if i if i wanted to try but if i wanted like um dave dave sort of puts both his both his fingers on his temples and and starts to uh really Really think, really concentrate, uh, and he begins to cast Find Familiar. Uh, as 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 a ritual, the ends know all the tricks. Oh, that's gonna take that's gonna take like ten minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna go off into a corner. Um, I'm gonna cast Minor Illusion and and create a rattlesnake. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go, and this is gonna be great because I have no idea what the fuck this song is. I'm gonna go rattlesnake. I'm King Gizzard, the Lizard Wizard, and that's a rattlesnake. Yeah. Oh, that's just uh like that's a hit song among my people. <laughs> yeah, it's that's good. That one's good. I don't I don't know the reference either. Is that snake jazz? <laughs> that is that is yeah. indeed snake jazz. Uh, it's it's up and coming. Uh, so, an hour and and uh, 
10 minutes go by. Uh, and Aladdin, make a perception check. Oh, perception. I'm pretty perceptive. Not really. Usually busy doing other things. 11. Okay. Um, within 11, you can you can see that it, it looks like something is starting to sort of coalesce uh, in the uh, in in the air in front of this uh, in front of this new addition to your party uh, this sort of ghostly uh, figure this ghostly shape um, and you can tell it it, it kind of looks uh, it, it it looks it looks vaguely dragon shaped so you think he's probably trying to conjure this like uh, a pseudo dragon that's a that's a common familiar to uh to to summon especially for a uh, sort of a first first time oh user that's not that's not terrible oh shit he's summoning a patronus <laughs> i mean it it even almost has all of its scales <laughs> And then suddenly, uh, something seems seems to snap almost in in the uh, weave of magic around you, and the tiny uh, dragon is immediately almost filling the room. Uh, DM Dave screams. Uh, you, you just, you just believed too hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody roll for initiative. Oh, you God. can thank good devil for this. I like how, I like how actually that should be what you yell as yourself. When the <laughs> combat starts, DM, DM Dave in the in character yell roll initiative. <laughs> is this, uh, is this pre or post, uh, rest? Well, this is this is mid rest. rest, so nobody is. I got my short oh, rest. It's a long rest right? yet? You you yeah. have a sh you have done a short rest, yeah. which is cool because I... I can I can burn all of my spell slots and then still <laughs> get, get another short and, rest <laughs> and roll it again, baby. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to make sure. <laughs> yeah, twenty yes, initiative. The short rest has been uh, okay. Yeah, uh, a, so Strahd, a, you are up. You are, well, actually, hang on. Let me make sure none of the oh. other... Oh, this is going to be the shortest dragon fight ever. <laughs> actually, oh, Shrek could beat you if he gets a natural 20. He didn't. Uh, Dave got a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Good start. Of he did. Good start. Uh, hey, you are touched by the god Goliath, man. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so... Uh, so uh, there's a massive red dragon in the center of the room, uh, looking confused and also pissed off. Okay. Well, you know, here's the deal. I'm going to go into a rage. I have no idea what the rage is, does at this point. Uh, and then I'm going to use uh, my Star Platinum. All right, so you're, you're I, raging... Raging. Your, your star platinum. I think, is it my, or, no, what's the thing that lets me do the all for one attack thing? Uh, one for all. Oh, that is one for all. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw down a, uh, uh, let's see, United States smash. Got to say smash. Uh... The, the big one, you're gonna fall unconscious <laughs> afterwards? Yeah, sure. Well, I got uh, apparently there's a long rest that has not yet happened. It's true. <laughs> hit it so hard it goes immediately back to bed. I, <laughs> I hit it. I oh, wake it up. So I wake good. up. I hit it like an alarm clock, and I go back to bed. All right. So you're gonna roll with a plus eight to hit. Jesus. Sure. That's your unarmed strike. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it would be funnier if I could do it with my claws. Or no, that's that's unarmed strike. Sorry. But it is that's also it's also a plus eight to hit all of your all right first night all that stuff. Why am I not seeing my attacks? 
ridiculous. Oh, it's under actions. That's fine. Okay, arm strike. Uh, I think I get like several attacks too, don't I? Uh, yeah, you'll you'll get you'll get to make two. Yeah, I roll a sixteen. Uh, a twenty-four is going to hit. Uh, minimum damage will down the dragon as it spawned with only five hit points. Oh, I and, but roll let's down. roll that. Let's yeah, let's roll that ten d twelve. See what what happens to you. Yeah, because God, that's yeah. the deal. Uh, let me see. I think I can go. What? Uh, you should I, just I, be able to click the. Yeah. Let me see. Is it? Yeah, it's backslash R and the twelve. Do I also get my strength bonus? No, I uh, guess. no, it's just the straight up. Okay. Uh, fifty nine points of damage. Jesus. Oh wait, I. Yep. I just gave you fifty nine. You're down to like thirty something, I think. Yeah. That would have put you down there. Maybe t like 28. Uh, and immediately, cr like, uh, so <laughs> what does it look like? What does what look like? Uh, when you when you do the United States of Smash. Actually, I'm assuming let me look up. A, a giant up. fucking eagle, like, emblazons itself on my chest. It's just a, kind of a bright star, really. Like a bright star. Yeah. United States of Smash, which means... This is America's ass. Right here. Uh, you, yeah, you, from a dead sleep, uh, rocket into the air, rage, and come fist first into this dragon's neck. You could see it was starting to uh, glow with the flame within it. You smash it down into the wall of force in the middle of the room where it poof, uh, dissipates immediately into nothingness. Oh. Stand there for a moment, and then just... Oh. Err, uh, <laughs> I'll be okay. I'll be uh, fine. Scrot is snoring, so he's clearly not... Um, uh, so he's, he's sort of s singed uh, on uh, on his entire front, but he is. Uh, you will be unconscious for the next hour. <laughs> but uh, DM Dave, uh, with his eyes wide, looks over at Aladdin and goes, "You know what? I think I'm. I don't think I need a familiar. I think I'm good. You know, yeah. um, don't do anything." Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Okay. Hey, look, 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 look. For your first time, it wasn't terrible. No one died. <laughs> um. But hey, you know what? Sometimes, uh, sometimes that's just magic. You know. Both, both of you, Aladdin and Jaeger, uh, make insight checks, in, either insight or perception checks on Dave. Like both the same for me. Huh? Four. 21. All right. Uh, Jaeger, you can see... Uh, Aladdin, you just see Dave uh, nod and and uh, give you a thumbs up. Uh, Jaeger, you catch this almost imperceptible um, flick of his eyes uh, down to his left hand where he's holding this strange sort of disc-shaped object. Yeah. Uh, I don't. You you haven't seen him with it before. What do you, what do you what do you got there? Uh, he immediately puts puts it behind his back, and he goes, uh, "It's nothing. It's um something chat bestowed upon me." Okay, I'm I'm, I'm... you you didn't show it before. I don't, I don't know about all this chat stuff here, but, uh, you know, I'd, I'd at least like to know what dangerous things you might have in your hands. Okay. Uh, well, I take it like this. Uh, he, he holds it out, and when chat demands that I spin it, I spin it, and he spins it. Oh, no. Did, did they just say it now? 
I didn't hear anything. Only I can hear them. It's my <laughs> curse. <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess we're gonna find out what happens when you spin that thing. Be prepared for another uh, dragon, everybody. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm still asleep. I'm asleep. Um, you you see, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm he's he's standing there. He spins it and immediately sort of stumbles backwards. Um. Puts, puts both his hands out for balance and then sits uh, heavily on the ground and he goes okay I don't I don't know what that did oh uh, Goliath man does it does it say on on uh -oh. the uh, on the actual wheel itself uh, what what the what the effect is would 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 DM Dave know? I gotta look in Discord. Mm -hmm. Yes, Discord. yes, DM Dave would know. Okay, um, he says, "Okay, uh, my dexterity is two. Oh. What? What is that? What does that mean? So I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna be good at uh, really doing anything, jumping or standing or um, standing. Yeah, standing. Uh, I, I stand up right uh, now." Uh, he he sort of you see his knees knocking together um okay i i rolled a 9 minus 4 uh it takes him a solid minute uh with the support of the wall to stand a number of times he falls back on his butt and then starts over again now i got it i got it i got it Yours is a god of chaos. Don't do anything. <laughs> okay. I turn and walk over and start messing with the... Uh... <laughs> it's fine. I can't do it till the long rest is over anyway. And I will. But the good news is when I spin it again... If I spin it again... Well, I, pr I should probably spin it again because this will go away if I do that. But then there's another thing that'll happen. Don't do anything yet. I won't. It's not going to be till the morning. And when you're in a room by yourself. <laughs> that sounds that sounds really that sounds fair. That sounds very oh, fair. What if we teleport him down into the wall of force box? Oh no, he might he might die. That, yeah, that guy <laughs> that would kill me. That guy down there would, would I would be a pace. Oh yeah, I forgot he's down there. <laughs> yeah. I would be a pace. So I, I would love to not do that. Can I am I, just gonna sit here. Can I scry um uh withers? Uh yeah, go ahead. Um on give me a highs or lows. Let's go highs. I'm feeling lucky. Uh when you attempt to scry, you can feel something about the very nature of the construction of the tomb itself resist you ah uh it's not impassable uh but at this time it fails understood uh there there is a there is a chance you will be able to but any uh, and you also uh, make an arcana check Arcana, yeah, Arcana, where are you? There you are. Respect me now. E hey, ten. Uh, with a ten, okay. That's 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 what you get. You get that. Uh, Scry basically has a fifty-fifty chance of working. Got it. Well, fifty-fifty shot. <laughs> I guess I'll try again. And I'll still get a chance to. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it again. And see if it works. All right, baby. Highs, lows. Highs. Uh, this is time. Uh, you get a glimpse of that study that you were in before. The study that's up on the next floor up. Um. That that was that was crawling with with these crawling claws. Uh, it's it's almost like you're seeing through Withers's eyes, um, 
you are uh, standing at, behind that desk uh, that was crushed to smithereens, uh, watching a a trio of tomb dwarves wearing these these stone masks uh, reassemble the desk uh, with uh, sort of a a flicker of light and dark immediately. Uh, Withers is no longer in that room. Uh, Withers is instead uh, in a room you have not yet seen. Um, and it's this room, which I'm going to describe to you. I type to die. Now, uh, you are uh, in, in a room with six glass cauldrons uh, lining the walls, each piled high with humanoid bones. Uh, in the center of the room is an ancient chariot bearing a bronze sarcophagus with treasure strewn all across it. Paintings on the chariot's body show a tall bird with a long, sharp beak. Uh, there are also four bronze statues uh, standing on pedestals and to the, well, at, at one end of the room, sort of the, the entrance to the room, uh, you can see there are three zombies uh, with chains around their, uh, uh, collared around their necks uh, that lead up to the ceiling and then uh, are attached to a huge, heavy stone door with three holes in it. Uh, you see uh, Withers, uh, so from your perspective, uh, sort of uh, rummages around in a paper sack by his uh, side and tosses a hunk of raw meat into the center of the three of them that they descend upon hungrily. And then your scry ends. Ah, oh, oh, God, I always hated that. <laughs> oh. oh, that doesn't help. I need to kill Withers. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I get it. He's, he's kind of a dick. Yeah. I don't, you know what, honestly, guy the from... undead should stay dead. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, guy from the ceiling, if I'm being honest, I don't even... Dave. Da Dave, Dave, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. I mean, I was I was on a mission from my master to spy on these guys, and you know, like... Yeah. I mean, they're cool They're cool guys and all, but like, I don't know what where I go from here. Or... Uh, well, you go further down in the dungeon, and you... you... Stop the death curse because that's what Rosin Z wants. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, you know, like, what are my hopes, my aspirations? My oh, dreams, you mean on like a big, like a high level? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, like I what am I that's... doing here kind of a level? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, are we all just pawns in someone else's game? Yeah, you know, I, w I wonder that often. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me too. What does your uh, your deity Chad? What is uh, what does he say about like uh, you know, what we're doing here and where, uh, where we go really, after this? He he really likes it. He's like big on the. Um, he's he's big on this. He's like he he shows up. He, he watches like really actively, watches. And like, you know, like with the with a little disc thingy, which I'm not going to spin again. I can't. It wouldn't do anything. Uh, but I'm not going to spin it again. I just want it. But like that, that's like a thing that he'll just do. They'll just do. They. I guess it's they, huh? It's like a thing that they'll just do. Okay, I have. <sighs> yeah. Sure, that answered all of my questions. But, you know, <laughs> do you ever wonder why we're here every week every week why every week 
<laughs> Dave just sort of looks off into the middle distance again. <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna turn around like, like, what the hell is he looking? <laughs> I don't. <sighs> um, the rest of your, uh, the rest of Aladdin's watch goes uneventfully. Um, at, at sort of the, the the time when when the watches would uh, turn over, uh, Dave, not trusting himself to stand, just sort of scrooches himself across the wall of force over towards Jaeger, where uh, you've been poring over uh, Jacob's book uh, and sits next to you. Um, and then scoots scoots a little further away and brushes a bug off his shoulder. I forgot about that. So forgot something about, about that. here about a, a skull chalice. What do you know about that? Uh, the skull chalice is, uh, Yeah, something Moxinare wanted. It's basically and this this was this was a while ago. Um, so bear with me, but it uh, it really the royal family of Omu, if they're going to reestablish themselves as a royal family, they need that to sort of show the people uh, that they're back. It's it's a symbol, really. I think it it does have some sort of magic to it itself, as as well as you know, immense cultural and historic relevance. Um, but yeah, that's really the big... That's uh, a good thing? We want that? Well, I mean, you guys didn't really spend a lot of time in Port Nyansaru other than doing the boat wedding. That took up a lot of time. <laughs> but... There, oh, yeah, that's right. You weren't there. That was something Jaeger... I mean, Ye Jacob... I'm sorry. There's so many of you. Um, that was something that, that, was something that Jacob... That explains this drawing. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, that's it. That was it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it was a good time. Don't get me wrong. It was... It was a, it was a good time. Uh... But anyway, yeah, Port Nyanzaru is run by the Merchant Princes. Uh, so it's a pretty kind of capitalist forward kind of uh, meritocracy in the sort of a real broad sense of the word and that, you know, really one of the big merits is being rich uh, or being born into it. So really not a meritocracy at all if you think about it. But at the same time, what's a royal family? So, I don't know. That's kind of, I think, meant to be sort of a big moral quandary for you guys. Uh, so, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> Do you know how to attune to things? Uh, yes. Yeah. Because you're a wizard, right? I mean, you're partially yeah. a wizard. Tell him to it's, believe. It's some of your training. Yes. Oh, God. Because uh, uh... <clears throat> I've been, like, I've got, I got the pants on. I've got the helmet on. Aladdin gave me this, this rock that's supposed, I know it's supposed to, like, hover around my head, but it's not, I can't make it do it. Have you, have you tried just, like, closing your eyes and, like, rubbing it on your belly? I have not tried that. As yeah, a matter of fact, everybody does it different. Okay, so it's really just kind of. I just got. You just have to feel it. Are you going to be mad at me if I try to do that? Only if you summon another dragon right in the middle of the. I camp. honestly don't. Well, I, I kind of know what that was about, but it's just it was just a random mm -hmm. thing. It just like. <sighs> Well, you shouldn't. If you're just trying to tune, I don't think you'll trigger anything. Okay. Maybe we should go in the other room. Okay. 
It does help if you have a foreskin. Can you carry me? A uh, force field. That too. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. I am. I. 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 You just support me. I get. You don't have to carry me. That's okay. I don't mind. I. I... Okay. Okie doke. <laughs> Oh no, Mr. Goliath man. I don't know the song. <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna have another uh, we're gonna what? have another rattlesnake moment. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's really it's Hey, high. as far as I'm concerned, that's how the song goes. That is exactly how the song goes. Rattlesnake. <laughs> yeah. Uh Jaeger is as you uh, carry DM Dave uh, to the other room. No, Mr. Goliath, man, I'm just looking at the lyrics. <laughs> what? That's, this, it's going freestyle from here. Could it be uh, the, the baby face? <laughs> or happy uh, birthday? You can, you can <laughs> just hear uh, a DM Dave sort of singing softly to himself. Move fast, baby. Don't be slow. Step aside. Reload. Time to go. I oh, can't please don't call me, baby. Control. Oh, sorry. Oh, this rapes. That's insane. And then, and then Shrek jumps in, right? Just uh, and Shrek normal. jumps in because it wasn't for DM Dave. It was for Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> she has Shrek joins in. Pulling shots. Aiming dots. Yeah, I don't miss. Branded by fire, born in the abyss. Red hot temper. I just can't resist all this vengeance inside me. So cursed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jaeger, where spot. are you taking DM Dave? Uh, I think the easiest would probably just be go to that room to the north that would that we came in that like little the small c- room, the cylindrical room. Yeah. All right. Uh, I you, would like you... to. I would like to kind of like like, not like follow, but but put myself in a position where I can kind of watch. So like, sure. I, I guess yeah. like I guess like right here. Is good. I'm gonna stand very close to the door so I can shove myself like out, out of the way and get mm-hmm. back in the room. If, if... Okay, yeah. DM Dave goes all uh, where. Well, DM Dave goes wherever you set him, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm just especially right down there in, the middle. in a cylindrical room. He's just gonna slide to the bottom, middle there. I'll ease um, him down gently. Yeah. Okay. And I just want to let you know, um, as soon as DM Dave starts to try and um, attune. I'm going to cast Thaumaturgy to make the ground slightly tremor and then mm-hmm. also cast Prestidigitation to make all of these like sparks and stuff start to fly <laughs> out of the different <laughs> things you're attuning to. <laughs> all right. So uh, DM Dave sit, sits there, lean, leaned up against the wall, uh, eyes scrunched closed, eye stone in his hand. Uh, he, be, he begins to rub it against his belly uh, and he he peeks one eye open at Jaeger to just sort of check in and at that no, moment all, all of those all of those effects uh, from Aladdin go off uh, Jaeger make, make an arcana check well actually I don't even think you need to make an arcana check this is not what attunement does <laughs> You don't know what's happening, but it's not. This is not what happens when you attune to something. Whether you pass that on, I'll see how this plays out. Okay. <laughs> so how, how does it play out, Aladdin? Do you just keep doing it? Um, uh, I guess it depends on the reaction of uh, 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 DM Dave. <laughs> DM DM Dave's go go wide. His is uh, uh, he goes. I I never described it like this. I guess I, I guess I just sort of assumed you you just did it. But wow, this is amazing. <laughs> I'll yeah. I'll sneak up I'll sneak up behind um uh Jaeger and go, hey um it's been a long time since I've like like, you know, hazed anybody. Uh, <laughs> this is funny. Yeah. We gotta tell him before the night's over. But. Yeah, yeah. I'll go, I'll go. Hey, hey. I think, I think, I think you're, I think you're, uh, you're, you're, you're doing like the dragon. You're believing too hard. Dial it back just a little bit. And then when he starts to dial it back a little bit, I'll cut the effects. All right. 
Okay, so there's like a sweet spot like right here. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there you go. If you start thinking too hard, that's when the sparks start flying, and then you do. We don't we don't need that. All right. Okay, so I'll just I'll just do this for the next hour, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. I think it's probably a good idea for me to stay in here. Maybe just check on me every so often, so I have nothing like. Yeah. Scream something if you hear something. Yeah. 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 U U Uba, keep them, uh, uh, keep them, keep them company. Uh, Uba flutters in, uh, with the, uh, crawling claw on his shoulder. Did that come out of DM Dave 2.0? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and see if I can get out of this room. However. Uh, All right. uh, about about an hour goes by. Uh, we're we're on to uh, the the fourth rest of the night. Um, who's did did Kenneth Kenneth? Did you say you were gonna? Yeah, yeah, I'll take one. Take that on. Uh, did uh, I do a roll for any of the harvesting stuff? Uh, remind me what you harvest. Oh. Uh, I don't think so. I think you're you're just doing like, um, you're just working on something over the night. Yeah, I was gonna work on that death tyrant and try to. Oh, got it. Yeah. So let's make that an arcana check. All right. Fifteen. All right. Uh, yeah, you you know that the Death Tyrant has all of the same um, effects that uh, the the eye rays uh, that a normal beholder has, uh, but a a Death Tyrant is created when a a beholder's dream. When basically, when a beholder dreams itself into undeath, uh, it, it becomes a death tyrant. And the fact that uh, Asarak has either imprisoned or uh, otherwise even negotiated with one of these creatures to... Uh, in some way guard this uh, tomb is some feat, some incredible feat. Uh, you know that uh, outside of of here, if if also if, if, yeah, if if the death tyrant was either released or otherwise somehow got out of this tomb, it would uh, spell disaster for any settlement that it came upon. Uh, thanks to that uh, central ray that causes anything that dies within the ray to immediately reanimate as a zombie. Uh, you also learn over the over the course of the night, that they are immune to poison damage. Great. Uh, and and then the the of uh, the the normal conditions that a that an undead creature is also immune to: charmed, exhausted, paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, and prone uh, as as per a beholder. Um, in terms of what you can get out of it, um, you think it's, it's going to be more difficult to harvest from than a, uh, than a physical beholder as it's, a lot of its energy is just sort of, uh, more magical than, than in the physical bits of its uh, body. It's basically just a big floating skull with these points of light around it. Uh, but certainly the teeth would be 
uh, a would make a fearsome blade, and you read something. <laughs> there's there's um there's sort of a a legend that this is this is in Jacob's book that you're reading, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the jaw and the. That's so funny. That's exactly what I was what I was just about to bullshit. <laughs> oh. Um Yeah, is so so there's there's this uh, a gem in in the center of the of the creature's head that generally uh emits that cone of energy that would turn things into zombies. But there is the possibility of reversing that uh magic after the death tyrant has been slain and uh taking care of a or, and and going through a quite difficult ritual but to instead have a powerful anti undead weapon okay you can sort of invert the um the negative energy into positive energy. All right. Well, it's worth a shot. Uh, all right. Uh, so, Kenneth, uh, during at, at one point during your watch, uh, DM Dave sort of toddles in. Um, from from this room to the north, with Uba uh, fluttering right behind his shoulder. Uh, he is wearing uh, the purple pants. He's wearing Scrod's purple pants, which have like cinched up to his uh, to his lower half. You can barely see them sort of poking out of the the bottom of his robe. But he is almost now bursting out of his robe with muscles. Oh. Uh, there is a faint green tinge to his skin. You are, uh, you are, uh, you are feeling okay there, buddy? Himmel Yeah. Hold on, Dave. Have you Jesus. just have you have you just attuned essentially? Uh, yes, he's he's attu okay. he's actually attuned to everything. He's also okay. wearing the. Uh, the helmet that uh, Jaeger gave him, and there is a small rock that you're accustomed to seeing orbit around Aladdin's head, instead orbiting around his. Right, he still so looks qu quite uh, almost top heavy, yep. but he looks strong. Well, when, you, when, you, when you finish the tuning, hold on just a second, you hear this. That's that startles you, Kenneth, and you go you go oh. check on DM Dave. Well, if you say say you're feeling all right, it pop a dibaloo, and it gives you the thumbs up. Yeah, all right. Um, well, uh, everything checks out. Yeah, everything checks out for me. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what do you, what do you do here? Huskan der Ripplefoff. Uh huh. And then there's James Price. I was a French dwarf. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. Fris so. Frisco. Is this a, Frisco. A, aphasia. Is this, is this what's happening right here? Well, I guess it's good that you came then. Crap, 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 crap. So you, you going back after this or? Humble sticker yeah, yeah, back. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I guess we'll figure it out afterwards. Uh, oh, well, and Doffel poop? No, no, I'm okay. Thanks. Drinkle. Wow. So, uh, spend a lot of time in dungeons. Who <coughs> bligle stock will be? And he holds up a finger. Yeah, yeah. It's my first time too. Hmm. Mm. Kind of dank. Ugh. He, well, he like sort of he nods and says Biff Laffer Grave Member and points sort of gestures to the, the mold in the corner of one of the rooms. Yeah, for being so ancient and empty, 
I'm sure, there's a lot of dust. Thought there had to be people. Around. Thought there had to be well, people around for dust. R- Ringer Bob, the old stable players, dish garbage bargain. It's weird. I never knew that. Never thought speaking Dutch would come in handy, but. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> ever since I ever since I leveled up, I learned thieves can't. Everyone knows all Dutch are thieves. Crongle down. Smack back the demo. Chat can act accordingly. <laughs> <laughs> since Chad's gonna do bad things soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well. Yeah, I guess uh I guess we should make sure no one sneaks up on them. Bruce Doss I mean, he gives a big stretch and then sort of l- 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 grabs your shoulder to uh lean on you as as you head back into the main room. Oh. Uh his his grip is incredibly strong, but his hand is shaking wildly. What kind of lotion to use? Your hands are real soft. Wimble Bobble Blow goes Cerave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the long rest is over. Everybody's back. <laughs> It's, it was only an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> I was no, good. I was, I was good. fine with this going on for the entire oh, episode. I thought I, I thought it's great. If anybody was, you were. I know that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, that is true. If if it is the morning, it's spin the wheel. Get something bad. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, as as everybody is sort of uh, finishing up their long rest, uh, Shrek is admiring his new duds. Uh, Kakarol was there all night. He was just asleep, I guess. I keep forgetting about fucking Kakarol. Um, uh, DM Dave uh, puts up a finger. Um, and says uh, very confidently, "Himble stop at the bar, bar skindy bip bap stoodle doop." And then goes. Oh, you broke him. <laughs> into... uh, I did not do that. No, 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 no. This is not my fault. I did not do this. Uh, Aladine and Jaeger both make Arcana checks as DM Dave heads back into this cylinder room. Sixteen. Sixteen. All right. Uh, you you both uh, think uh, he's he's clearly from some other realm. Uh, he's he's not very powerful, and you you have given him these. You, you think maybe these uh, these very powerful magic items that you've gifted him when when he came, became attuned to them may have sort of. Sc- Grambled his brain. Oh shit! He might have tried to use them. Um, uh, would we know of? Would I know of anything that could like, uh, like help him kind of regain his faculties and still also retain the use of the items? With a sixteen, you really think it's time. You think you think he just needs a little bit of uh, of, of time to acclimate to being. Um, to, to these powerful magical items. Both of you, I mean, Jaeger, you, you remember the first time you put the uh, the helmet on and attuned to it. It it was a, not not a battle of wills so much, but a, um, were, you, were you not as, as trained and as powerful as you are, you can easily see how this could happen to a much less uh, powerful uh, person. Yeah. Oops, I wasn't wearing my wig. Mm-hmm. I did this to myself. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll go up to him and be like, "Hey, uh, uh, Dave, uh, listen, mm-hmm. um, you James, 
Y yeah, you know. you just you just uh, uh, attuned to three very powerful magical artifacts at the exact same time. So just try to take it easy for the next couple of hours or so uh, as you as you try to find your new footing. Durgle. Durgle's mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe if we just hit him in the head again. Will that work? <laughs> uh, I, th I think he's too fragile for that. I think got my pants. He did skip leg day, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. Uh, as, as, so as Aladdin, as you, as you sort of step back, um, and, uh, DM Dave has, has headed back into this cylindrical room. He, he sort of, he, he jerks upright and into this almost like marionette pose and goes back and forth in, in this herky jerky dance as, as he sings, who be donk of a people? How about Stevie do do ba? How about see goo da ba boo ba boo la so be be stupid goo? And then spins the uh, shuts. Actually, he shuts the door. Is what happens. Oh. On the other side of the door, he spins the wheel. I think he's a bit possessed. Yeah. It's got to be that Chad character he keeps going no, on about. No, no, I think it's I think it's that devil that calls himself good. Do we? Are, uh, we did talk about doing the devil. <laughs> And in my in, in my expert opinion, devils are mostly beneficial. <laughs> uh -huh. What does this mean? Legitimate, legitimate concern for safety at this point. I I spun banish dazzle. Banish dazzle. <laughs> this sounds like an anime thing. Useless. I'm terrified oh i see it okay this is a second edition spell uh once the spell was cast edition? the target could see clearly through blinding sunlight and heat shimmer uh so Ooh. i can't be i can't be blinded oh you got oh. some ray bands That's cool ray bands and you yeah. can and you can walk now yeah you can walk and yes my uh at that point i do want to get a tambourine and start singing about do you want to have a marriage <laughs> And start taking up a collection for Chad. I got it spreading. <laughs> From the blind. Oh, I, <laughs> I want to use I my sending. I can't be. I can't be blinded by non-magical light. Yep. I, I want to be super useful down here. I'm gonna go off into a corner real quick and take out my sending stone and go, um, boss. Uh, some weird guy fell from the ceiling and is converting the party to a god named Chad. Just thought you'd like to know. And we'll leave it at that. Uh, you do not immediately get a response from Rastasi. Oh, he never, he never, he never texts right back. No, no, he's... no, 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 no. He's always busy. <laughs> oh, thank God. I, okay, at least my AC is back up to ten for this fight. <laughs> it's not. Oh, wait, we're oh. bringing Dave in for this fight? No way. Okay. Is, is Dave Dave gonna stay? Is Dave Dave gonna stay outside? Dave in a room. <laughs> Oh, I will share the information that I learned about the Death Tyrant last night with everybody as well. All right. Yeah. Oh, I can. Uh, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna touch. I'm gonna touch uh, uh, Dave on the back and go, "Hey, um, listen, this is gonna help a little bit, and I'm gonna pat you pretty hard, and I'm just gonna cast Mage Armor because I can cast that at will." Oh, great! So for the next eight hours, you have um, uh, 13. Uh, thirteen plus Dex, which I'm assuming is zero. That would be a 13. <laughs> um, and I'll do the same for myself. And I'll be like, hey, does anyone else want some juice? Anyone, a, a, anyone else weak like me and have a low AC? No? Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, hold on. Can I, get, can I get that? What's your AC? Uh, uh, I don't remember. Your AC is already higher than eight, you My AC is 18. Yeah, no, oh, this, this, would be, this would be for anyone who's less than a, less than a 13. Oh, damn! Definitely not Kenneth. Nope. Kenneth has a plus six. 
Uh, Basically for people who just aren't oh, wearing armor. It technically would help Jaeger. Oh, it would? Mm -hmm. Does that mean I have to touch him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I reluctantly slowly start to go over to Jaeger and through the bugs, I just kind of like... <laughs> Uh, oh, actually, no, 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 no! I send Uba over to do it. Oh yeah, <laughs> Uba, go, 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 touch him, go, touch him. Uh, Uba sends the just need human connection. Yeah. Uh, Uba passes on your uh, touch spell to the crawling claw, uh, which then uh, <laughs> skitters over and touches Jaeger. And then I, I look at I look at uh, uh, Uba and I say, "It's nice having staff, isn't it?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, DM Dave pushes the door open, uh, looking uh, much steadier than before, and gives a thumbs up. All right. Does that take my AC two again? Seventeen. Okay. A little bonus. <clears throat> Before we uh, enter the door, I'm going to start going into my, my little trance for my trance. Okay. Um, so you, uh, ar around the, uh, where's, where is this? So where, so where are we? Outside the door of the Teth Tyrant. Uh, where's, okay, over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so go ahead and please. None of us are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's what's the order you want to uh, go into the room in? You are you are in front of this door. Uh, it is a large door with a round mirror set into its surface, with ten circular indentations surrounding the mirror. Is it on the left or the right? Uh, to the left. I'm gonna, I, yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand in front of the door and I'm gonna go, guys, I wanna go in first because I scried uh Withers last night, and if this is the room that he was in, then there's treasure all over the place. I gotta I wanna be first. Hey, uh hold on. How about we how about we let the Skeletor twins go? I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at them and I'm gonna go, hey, you guys, if there's treasure, claws <laughs> off. <laughs> I don't think they are interested in that. Good. Okay. Sort of a, a dry, raspy. I mean, I don't know. If, I don't know if the cure wants to give up his bodyguards, but this would be a great day to do it. We could, we could, like, follow them in, like. Oh yeah. And then maybe spread out once we get inside. Good plan. They can't really go too far from each other. No, they they don't have to. They just have to move straight ahead. <laughs> That's yeah. all I care about. We can go shortest to biggest, so we can hide as many people as possible. One of them does have the bracers of super strength. Uh, the one on the left. Okay. But you can you can arrange them whichever which way you want. You can move them. Does that does that little uh, chain? You should be able to move them. I go together. Did they, did they still have the chain that like shuffles their damage back and forth? Oh wait, no, I can't. I can't tell you to. Yes, they they are still chained together. And you're right. For some reason, I can't. I can't give you. Uh, I can't give you control over them. DM now. I don't. I don't. I don't know why it just says. Normally, there's a drop down, but it just says determined by character settings, which I don't know what that means. Hmm. So. Uh, but let's let's say. Do you want do you want the super strength to be first or second? Um. Oh. Probably first. It doesn't really matter if they they're gonna get one shot at anyway. <laughs> Whatever they go in there. All right. So, so strong boys, for, strong boy first, weak boy second. Yeah. Um. And I guess yeah, they that the, the skeletons have enough um, dexterity to slot these eyes in as well, and actually, funnily, bypasses something else. Oh. Weird. I think maybe the the kobolds and Zero uh, and maybe Uba should step stick back and cover our backs just in case. Oh, well, I, I was like gonna to suggest I was first. I was gonna suggest sending all of them in after the skeletons. <laughs> Might as well just send 
all of the fodder in first. After them, yeah. I think Shrek goes. <laughs> what do you think, right, Shrek? I am very, I am very strong. Yeah, so it makes sense. Uh, what is redeem miracle? Like it's, it's I kind think of... it's uh yeah, I think it's up to discretion, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty much it. I mean, oh, yeah, cool. it is redeem miracle. It's like the opposite is... of glitch. Yeah, oh, the, yeah so yeah. something inexplicable. Yeah. Uh, but generally, I well, but just can, glitches have proven to be helpful in the past. Yeah, miracles have been terrible. A miracle for the beholder. That would be hilarious. It's alive again. That's true. Depends. Depends who. Who's using it and who for? Yeah, this is when we're gonna question our life choices, guys. <laughs> it says, like it says in the intro. Oh, DM Dave, a miracle! It's almost like your your session notes magically appear in front of you <laughs> again. Uh, yeah. Miracle is forced <laughs> from uh, History of the World Part One. <laughs> well, I like the <clears throat> idea that the entire manual just appears. Uh, as as you're all sort of. Um, a book that says Tool of Annihilation on it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, that's that's also very good. Skip um, to the next chapter. What's what's <laughs> what, what's going on here? Well, I I like the idea that it 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 you just get the electronic copy and the battery on your iPad died. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm 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 gonna have it be you. You're all sort of uh, discussing amongst yourselves how you're how you're about to, um, head into this. Uh, in, into this fight when you hear a little sort of doo -doo -doo sound uh, echo from DM Dave's uh, direction. Uh-oh. I look over. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, go over to him and be like, what do you what do you got? <laughs> what do you got now? What what uh, what's going over. on? He is he is holding a, a small rectangle in his other hand. It's, yeah, he's he's got discs and, and rectangles. Um, <laughs> what is it with you in shapes? Yeah. It's like, it's like, um, like shapes. Chad like shapes. Chad yeah, like Chad's, shapes. Maybe maybe Chad can make a sandwich in a triangle shape. <laughs> uh Aladine, as as you come over, DM Dave is sort of uh manipulating the, the, the front face of this uh of this little of this little tablet. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You gotta explain before you start doing <laughs> stuff. Haven't you? Haven't you learned yet? Baba Gadoosh. Baba, uh, no. <laughs> and he he turns the tablet to face you, and you can see this. Uh, it's an elvish. Rows and rows of text. In, um, in what language? Do I recognize it? The same thing. Is common English. No. But DM Dave only knows English. Yeah. Which just sounds a lot like common. <laughs> it's, there's, there, a lot, it's like mostly it. the same. Well, it's like DM Dave isn't speaking English right now, actually. Uh, is so let's we'll, we'll say it's like a di it's some sort of dialect of common. Like it's like uh, it's it's close. I have to kind of like parse through it slightly but yeah. I, I get the gist okay like some of the grammatical uh, uh constructions are different some of the words are completely foreign to you but largely you can you can get across the you, you can get the uh you can get the meaning all right what's the gist i'm getting out of this um it God. you 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 peek in at, at one sort of passage that uh, reads uh, the cure has a tomb dwarf mask Scrod has obalaka in him currently overcome by the cure's tincture but will return mimic dead Kenneth got magic da dagger uh, it seems to be almost a a retelling this of... is stuff that happened uh, and then, and then DM Dave take, takes it back, does manipulates it again, um, and turns it around to you again, and you you read. 
death tyrant after level up death tyrant encounter too easy question mark add death kiss <laughs> oh shit uh, at which DM Dave is sort of blanched and then and then looks over to you. What de death de de death kiss? That doesn't sound good. Uh, he he takes it back and um, <laughs> yeah. does does something does something else with it. Um, and uh, he. Uh, turns it around to you again, and in, instead of the the black text on a white background, it's it's sort of a a almost the color of parchment now. Uh, and you can see an image of this this creature that looks it's it's got pale skin and tentacles. It's not a uh, it's not a beholder. It's not a death tyrant. It's something else. Uh, and you are about to uh, investigate it further when there is a poof, ah. um, and the uh, the tablet in DM Dave's hand sparks and smokes. Uh, he drops it in fear, uh, taking. Luckily, only a single point of burn damage uh, from the exploded battery. Uh, but the towelet hits the ground, and let's say highs or lows. Well, Low. lows, okay, it doesn't shatter, but the, the battery blowed up. So I was, I was like, why did I even bother? Who's going to fix a battery in here? Maybe an artificer, you don't know. I can fix anything. Uh, I think that... Apple I am the cure. A, I'm a doctor. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for Apple to come in and beat the shit out of you for touching it. <laughs> uh, Who knows? There could be another miracle. Al, I think he's on for the trick with all the sparks and lights uh, from last night. I think yeah. He's on yeah. Do you think he's just? Do you think he's just razzing us back? He's he's shaking his head. Mm 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 mm. Well, box car. But. Okay, look, you, you, you shush until you figure out how to speak again, okay? Um, and then I'll, um, I'll, I'll look back at um, uh, Jaeger and go, I don't, I don't know, but if what I saw on that thing is true, what's on the other side of that door is not what we expect, and it's gonna be worse. Um. Okay. <laughs> And, and and asking him any questions at this point is is just it's not going to work. Like watch, uh, 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 D DM Dave. Dave has gone and sat down next to Kakarol. <laughs> I turn around and go, oh oh he oh, hey I I was I'm sorry I'm sorry if I was I was a little short with you, but this is a serious situation and 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 you 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 you're messing with my brain. Grendel punch, he says apologetically. Ooh, watch it. <laughs> um, can I examine the affliction that's happening the uh, uh to David two two point oh? Yeah, yeah. Make a medicine check or an okay. Arcana check. Yeah, see if one. you can fix this crap. Uh, they're both the same. Okay. I well, roll, roll whatever, whatever, roll whatever you feel like then, and I'll tell you what uh, you get out of it. Fourteen. Uh, it, with a fourteen, it, they, they both uh, got sixteens earlier, so it's basically you, you get about the same thing. This is a magical affliction, uh, probably yeah. stemming from one of the powerful magic artifacts. It will pass with time. Beyond uh, that, you you don't know anything. You could try stuff would, and, and uh, see. But a lesser restoration work? It's possible. It, it worked on you when you were death. I got. I, I got mean, free. I mean, mute. Death. <laughs> I got. I got. Um. So when I leveled to nine, guys, I got free. I suddenly appeared with four vials of lesser restoration, and I want to give one to DM Dave. Ooh. And I say, 
I'd be like, drink, drink this if you want to talk again. Okay. Uh, it tastes like raspberry. It's blue. <laughs> Does it really? Because I want to know what face DM Dave makes when he throws it back. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> DM Dave, like, sort of wrinkles no, his like, nose it's like because... a sour patch though it's not it's not sweet in the slightest yeah well but he he knows he knows what you do <laughs> he knows he knows the cure so he is very suspicious as he takes this i am my doctor i am the uh, but he shoots it back swallows makes sort of a, a like oh that was not too bad face and then experimentally says Testing? Testing. Hey, that's what hey. I meant to say. And that's what I said. And you can yeah. understand me? I am the cure. Finally. The oh, cure. my God. Oh, man. Oh, that was so frustrating. That Who was really... are you telling? I just, I'm commiserating. Oh, okay, good, good. Because, like, we're trying to get important information out of you, and you're over here telling us Baba Ganoush. I know. I, I, wanted, I wanted to tell. Well, Baba Ganoush, yeah, Baba Ganoush... What oh, I was God, trying to relapsed. say was, holy shit. No, 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 we're okay. We're good. And then, uh, with, with a popping sound, another uh, person appears. Uh, will somebody tell me who Pete is? Uh, the uh, toucan. Pete, Pete is the toucan um, oh. a, a, by the map. What, he's named? Yeah, that's Pete. What the fuck? Uh-huh. The, two, the toucan we, by the yeah, way. Yeah, every every uh every right week here? when we do yep, every week when we no the other point point the other way. This way. It, yep, there you go. Oh um, on Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Oh every um, how have I missed that? Every week when we do the recap, <laughs> it goes big it goes big picture to uh to Nat and, and Pete is like right there with him. I can't doing doing the outro, I, I mean. I mm-hmm. didn't know that. Okay, yeah. so never mind. With with a pop uh, a toucan appears. Uh Wait flutters around the room uh and lands on dm dave's shoulder oh hey that that fine familiar spell must have like finally kicked in oh yeah must have i yeah yep what's his name i'm getting i don't you're, you're supposed to be able to talk to him aren't you uh, me? I don't. Uh, he's your familiar. What's your name? The the two cans oh. feathers sort of ruffle. I don't. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, hey, the more the Pete. merrier. Pete. Name's Pete. Sure, Pete. Okay. Hey, Pete. Um, you're another target. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's talk about that for a second. So I'm not cool. Like the the undead guys, they're not supposed to be alive anyway. But I have a hard time sending people in that are just going to get obliterated in this. Uba, you'll be fine, right? <laughs> yeah. Uba, Uba, Uba's um, ready. Uba's ready. Uba's, Uba's like uh, sitting in the corner and, and having the crawling claw pick nits out of his fur and feed them to him. He's living the life. Mm. Yeah, I'm okay with that too. And I mean, and, and listen, and listen, the, the, the kobolds, I mean, they'll do whatever we tell them to do. Yeah. I know, and I don't think we should send them in to get slaughtered. I, I, I'm not okay. I am the cure. I'm keeping everyone alive here. Well, see, there we go. We send the cure in right well, behind the kobold. The last two died. <laughs> well, they're, I wasn't there, and they're outside my control. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we should leave them here. Shrek, he's capable. We can bring him. Uh, Shrek, like... Uh, Rubs a little bit of dirt off his new clothes. He's ready. Uh, do those new clothes come with, or do they just, is it just new clothes? I believe he said they just look cool. Okay. Hey, do we have, a, um, do we have a set of sending stones? I don't believe so. I think you've got one half, but, uh, Rosnessy has the other. Got I think it. that's, uh, I'm going to go, okay, fine. We can leave them. We can leave them here. And then I'm going to go over to the kobolds and go, hey, guys, listen. I need you to do a special little job for me while we're going in there. 
and getting slaughtered for you. Yeah, Kekarol, well, look, look, Kekarol doesn't take orders, but if you if you got if you got so if you got a special mission for Kekarol, I suppose Kekarol might be. Uh, Kekarol supposes. Yeah, yeah. Don't think of this as more. Yeah, don't don't think of this as like an order. Think of it as like an opportunity. Mm. Listen, I'm listening. I need you to find Withers. The kind of the skeleton-looking guy, gold mask, yep, robes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I need I need you guys to not only find him, but I need you to track him. I need you to see if there's any kind of pattern. To where he goes so that I can get the jump on him at some point and shoot him with my new gun. <laughs> All right, you got yeah, it, big caps. boy. Where there's it, you know what? Maybe we'll just take care of him for you. How about that? Hey, if you feel like you have Maybe the we'll opportunity, just... but oh, listen, yeah. but listen, it, it, I need the information more than I want you to take the opportunity. If, because if all of you die before I get the information, what has what, <laughs> what has this all been die. about? Kakarol die, not gonna happen. Oh God! And he he snaps his fingers. The two weary looking kobolds pick him up, uh, and they begin trundling out of the room. Okay, well, um, uh, DM Dave looks up at you. Should I go with them or should I? No, 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 no. You yeah. should, you should stay here. You're coming. You're coming with us. We didn't. I'm give, coming in. We didn't give you all of this cool stuff for you to just sit <laughs> on the sidelines. Don't worry. <laughs> you stay all the way behind everybody. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I did see uh, during the few minutes that I got to look at the notes that I have twelve hit points. I don't know what that means, but like I said, just stay behind <laughs> us. Okay. Okay, yeah. Hoorah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do we know about uh, uh, Kissy Face Monster? Uh, oh yeah, I guess I would have, I would have relayed, I would have relayed as much of that to everybody as possible. Oh, did you? oh, I oh yeah, now that Dave can talk. Uh, unfortunately, before the battery exploded, you didn't really get to see anything about it other than its image and that it was it might also be there um jacob's oh. book is is largely based on uh the undead is that correct yeah yeah you you've well let's well, we'll give it a highs or lows well, well I, his, it's, it's a um it, that the the monster hunting thing is a very broad Thing All right. It deals with everything. Highs so his specializes specifically in undead. Yeah. I'd love uh, to see if there's anything in we'll there. We'll go lows. Out. Yeah, the, the 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 death kiss does not show up anywhere in the um in in his book. Mm -hmm. And DM Dave says, I I actually I don't recognize it. That must be something new. He looked up. Uh, between when I when I got here, and and now, which wait, who who looked up? Did Chad look that up? Ch yeah, the Chad. Sorry, the Chad. Chad. Um, uh, yeah, this is Chad's doing, and we are but at the whims of Chad. Oh, I so want a suspicion roll on this. <laughs> Is yeah, that... make an insight roll. Let's see what what Dave's deception is. I like I like Dave going fuck. That was just uh, <laughs> was insight. I choose to believe Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I was gonna say yeah. What, what the fuck? I I roll at disadvantage. I uh, a fifteen. I also got a fifteen. I'm going to use my inspiration. Well, there you go. <laughs> we're close. We're close to the end. Might as well. I think Dave should have inspiration too for singing. Well, he did, I think. I think he did. Higher inspiration. Yeah, does Dave? I rolled a twelve. Yes. Okay. So it's so it's literally impossible. No, you, you no, we could we could make it a twelve. I guess. Keep, we no, treat Dave, it like soccer. Dave needs this inspiration so bad. <laughs> um, you can tell there. 
DM Dave has some level of guilt about this. Um, the, 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 the DM Dave who is in the dungeon there with you. Um, is like now, now that he's, I mean, I've met it now that he's facing the consequences of his, of his own decisions outside the game. He's like, boy, I really shouldn't. I would like keep up these encounters, but I would like to try, uh, one of or, uh, two things. Essentially. Um, is, is there anything that I can roll to see if this, the name of this monster like sparks anything? Yeah. yeah we'll call it an arcana check. Arcana oh. is not something I'm great at, but we'll see if a 13 does it. Uh, with a 13, you you have heard you you have heard Death Kiss in the uh, in the same conversation as Beholder. Uh, they are not nearly as as powerful as a Beholder, but they are still quite dangerous would would the cure based off of what because it was described to us would he medically understand that this thing might be anemic or sound anemic or anemic you know what i'm trying to say yeah yeah i would i would i would say that's that's a fair would a higher roll net a higher roll is going to net me more information than that right okay so we're just going to go ahead and it sure is. We're going to roll the d12. Now you guys are just going to try to burn time for 15 minutes. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, let's make it um, 18. Uh, all right. With an 18, uh, yeah, you, um, you, you know there's no, there's no eye ray uh, involved with a, uh, with a death kiss. They are, they they can only make physical attacks. Um, they 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 have they have a bit of a reach on their tentacle, but it's it's not a it's it's not an eye ray kind of situation. They are less powerful than that. Uh, they are more, uh, but but again, still quite dangerous. Um, and yeah, the cure. Go ahead and make a go ahead and make a medicine check. Oh, me a medicine? Wow. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, where's that fucking D12? Inspiration. Has You're standing in a dungeon. Oh, so that's going to be a 13? A 13. Yeah, a, a 13 is enough to, to sort of make that connection of death kiss um sapping life force blood uh, related blood related kind of uh connection yes uh with another faint pop uh a well-dressed man with coiffed hair appears uh in the in the room next to you all <laughs> consider consider if you will consider if you will a dungeon with five a man, a man what, whose mind what is, is turned inside out. What is it's happening out. here? The no, that, reality. A beholder. I'm going to immediately Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I am done with this. Immediate uh, Eldritch Blast. For who? Everybody? <laughs> No, no, just to just to this this new this new gentleman who who just right. popped up. Roll to hit Rod Surly. Yeah, he was not expecting it. <laughs> Surely, for the best. So it's this is flash. absolutely for the best. Okay, uh, twenty eight for the first blast. I'm gonna say a twenty eight hits. Uh, and second your... second blast is a tw okay. a, dir a dirty he just, twenty. He just, he just keeps blasting. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I just we're looking laughing. at 10 and um, 6, so 16 uh, total, force damage, and 20 feet um, uh, back. Nice. Uh, the suited man uh, has has enough time to, to say, consider, before he is blasted into smithereens. You, you hear that, Chad? 
I swear to God, you send any other degenerate here. That's what's happening. We've got enough. Um, I'm going to yell, hey, Fredo, you need to cool it down. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just we keep <laughs> we keep collecting more and no, more. That's, hold on, that's... guys. I can save him. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, save> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, not another zombie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, please let it be zombie drive, Sterling, please. <laughs> no, I know. Like, what was that guy? I recognized that guy. That guy was from my realm, but he was not going to be helpful. He's a cool guy. He does, like, good, you, he does good stuff. You just should be happy that I've decided that this after you. I am. Yes. Yes. And I gave you gun. Yeah, yes, and I cannot wait to use it. You know what? That's it. Chad, the next person you send here gets shot with a gun. Oh, no. They're going to like that. They're going to like that. Don't yeah. <laughs> don't tell them that. Oh, do you, are, you, are you telling me I'm goading them now? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they will take you up on that. And and, yeah. and it will be funny. But yeah. there's... Oh. <laughs> it'll be Pwn Donkey. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank goodness it looks like it hasn't. It's a. It, it's, it's an N. Yeah. Stream Elements just decided, nah. Um, at that, though, I will make sure that I relay the information about the, um, the, the monster and go, guys, if that is indeed what it is on the other side, um, we can keep our distance uh, because it doesn't have the eye rays. So if we just keep our distance and use extreme range, we should be okay. Oh, no, it's both. It's both? Yeah, it's both. That much I saw before the thing blew up. What does this chat even want? Why are they doing this? Chad wants to die. <laughs> Chaos. All right, so here's... Well, here... okay, no, I'm not... No, d Dave is about to say something and then he doesn't. Here's here's what we do. I, I'll use wall of force to separate the two of them and keep one of them away from us. So that way we can focus on just the beholder because, yeah. because the other one should be easier or the death tyrant. The other one should yeah. be easier. Yeah, that's good. And wall of force, uh, I think probably will stop. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think we'll probably stop most of the, um, all except one. eye. Okay. This, this guy knows he's a doctor <laughs> he's a doctor chad is that you i don't know i felt something surge through me for a second oh god oh god is something possessing you again uh, i don't know oh i just want to get through this this is getting weirder and weirder by the second yeah. Yeah. <laughs> agreed <laughs> let's just be happy let's just be happy the ally didn't get redeemed because that that would have been too much that, that would have been too goddamn much. <laughs> All right, so we have do we uh, at least at least going into the next episode, do we have we have an order that we want to bust in? We want we want to send the 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 zombs first. Do we do we know what the room looks like? Do you remember what the room looks like? <clears throat> so Aladdin, you you did uh, you, Pone Donkeys wasn't here for this, so I'll 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 reiterate. Um, the the sort of vision that you got when you identified the oh yeah yeah, yeah. one of the eyes. Uh, it is a massive, uh, so a fifty foot tall, fifty foot wide. A domed room. It's 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 a it's a hemisphere. Uh, with with a perfectly polished reflective marble floor. Uh, there are nine alcoves filled with glittering treasure along the walls. And in the middle of the chamber, a large spherical object hovers under a black silk drape. 20 feet above the floor. 
so so that that's the that's the layout of the room that Aladdin would remember. And I I, I describe that verbatim. So there's yeah. nothing to hide behind, basically. No, it is it is a it is a dome. Okay. I should try to go in first, so that way I can get the wall of force going. So I'll go in behind. I'll go in behind the 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 expendables. Um. I got shield. I'm fine. I can. Yeah, so I, I. Can, I can go in and immediately like go up a wall or something to get out of the way. I'll try to attract its attention away from the. Uh... Oops. I'll let, I'll let you guys put yourselves. I also need to roll Dave's portents because Dave's a divination wizard. I love I love portent. Really? I roll two fourteens. That's that's okay. not terrible. That's not no, terrible. No, it's not. It's, it's not. It's Te on, technically it could be two tens. Nothing. Two tens would be probably the worst thing I, you could get, in my opinion. Yeah. But. I, honestly, there are no really bad portents to have. I, I love, I love divination. Getting a one and a twenty. Oh, that's Ooh, like. Baby. <laughs> All right, so Al goes behind the two guys. Okay, Al mm -hmm. first. Whoops, I grabbed Kenneth. Al. Kenneth seems to. Uh, Ke Kenneth wants to get in. Um, quick, quick as yeah, well I'll, I'll with... to get up I, a wall. I like, like the idea we're leaving the two tanks behind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Scrod and Shrek still. Well, well guys, no, because because we all have we all we all have stuff that we're get, gonna do as soon as we get in there. Yeah, yeah. The the remainder like Scrod and Shrek bringing up the rear, just running in and going straight yeah. at attack and and charging in power mm -hmm. ass yep. style. I think I think that's a good a good strategy. And I'll be there too. You you stay behind Shrek, and I'm gonna look at Shrek. Shrek, if anything happens to him. It had better be me. <laughs> Both fact, just stay by the door, like hide in the doorway. Great, great. Yeah, I'll. Yeah, I'll. Yeah, yeah. What can I do? Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll look. I'll look at him and go. Look, a lot of stuff is by line of sight as well. So just like stand in the doorway, and 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 shoot and shoot your shot, and then get out of the way. Okay, so it's a long shot, but Jaeger, you you remember what what you did to that? Uh, damn it! Oh, if my portent had been a low number, this would have been a a no brainer. But okay, uh, I guess DM Dave does say all that. Uh, <laughs> sorry, no, and we're we're all like, I, what the I, fuck is I don't know what words you're using. Y Jaeger, you remember? what you did to that to the red wizard yes with the helmet yes it's a long shot with the death tyrant but I, f I guess i should just give it a shot yeah uh you can uh you also have the ability to commune with that so if you need to speak to your chad and try to <laughs> get oh. something you could, could also do that my goodness <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. uh could you also maybe you, you seem to be it seems like there's more than one god involved here can we save this this redeem for the beginning of the next episode because i i really want to make <laughs> yes. it a thing i, I really yes, want to make it a really thing <laughs> you'll, you'll have to come back next week for this uh, <laughs> uh, but you will you will see him again <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, this, this was I think we could figure out how to end this campaign in about one minute <laughs> <laughs> game could end right now I don't know this this, this we just spent two hours long resting right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the longest rest the longest oh, man. rest character building yeah it was, it was good though it was good I did build a character I have a robot buddy with me now oh what I've got a homunculus with me now. Oh, nice. nice. What does it look like? Uh, it's a propeller with green juice on its back. And a needle. Oh. 
well. And a, like a mechanical mosquito? Ooh. Uh, yeah, you can say that. Like a flying syringe? <laughs> yeah, you can say that too. And another robot hand that seems to be uh, suggestively shaped a for Roomba healing people. A Roomba with a syringe taped to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, what if I could put the needle, like the syringe I got on the, um, that'd be really I'll, funny. Wait, I'll allow get, it. Did you get the Death Star interrogation droid kind of as a thing, basically? Uh, it, it can be now. It oh, can't hurt people. Really? Yeah. I want to have that as the, as the little token, please. I want it to be the t the torture robot. Okay, done. <laughs> I was just thinking I'm I'm gonna have to find a, a a token for this. So it's the torture robot from what? Star oh, Wars. A little black. Uh, oh story. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, interrogator. 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 interrogator droid. Interrogation droid. Yeah. There we go. All right. I'm on it. Yeah. And that's a show for mm -hmm. kids. Well, uh, what do we what do we have coming down the 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 the, the pipe here? Oh, we got some things. Um, let me uh, let me get this raid figured out real hey, quick. Hey, and there's hey, and for all of those in our cast wondering who the hell Pete is, that's Pete. Hey, look at him. Hey, it's me. I was wondering. Who, there he is. <laughs> How could I have missed this for so long? It's me. It's me, Pete. Medium. It's a him, Pete. Oh, God, what is that? Okay. Hey, Pete. Pete, 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 Pete. All right. Um. So my phone died, which is what I usually pull up Discord on when I'm doing this. So I got like one screen to do everything on. <laughs> We're good. Look, they. They stayed through two hours of this. They'll they'll be fine for <laughs> a little bit longer. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> which I'm, I'm which one fun. of you is saying that? We just spent the last <laughs> two hours talking to yourself. Yeah, it's well. Right now, I'm making a I'm making a. Um, I've got your interrogator droid yeah. token done. I'm about to make uh, one for PD. And I guess I should wait and make one for bullet immune Rod Serling. Although, <laughs> that's only going to last for as long as uh, Aladdin figures Rod Serling is only bulletproof and Look, not Eldritch Blast. The, the moment that the bullets don't work, it's Eldritch Blast in time. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that'll be a short-lived... Um, That'll be short-lived. I got caught like a singularity because he would see his own dead body next to his body. <laughs> he has, he has actually, uh, in the in the in the show, he actually has, within the Twilight Zone, had actually known he was a figment of the reality. Even he better, actually, he actually fourth walled it. Well, okay. Hopefully, nobody gets to the conclusion that DM Dave is the cause of all these encounters. I was. <laughs> oh, I, no, I, I have to take something there. I think. I think <laughs> I have. I've been pushing toward that, my friends. I've been. I believe I it. have spoiled that, but but the thing is, getting rid of this DM Dave doesn't do anything. But you don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I, was, I say we try and find out because it's everything really to turn white. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly there's a, suddenly there's a glitch. Just a void we're looking out. No, it's this great God Hasbro uh, that <laughs> goes and um, takes away all our books. Yeah. All right. Well, this is going to be a, uh, a short um, uh, announcement uh, for the week. But, uh, of course, if you're if you're joining us for the first time, please hit the follow button down the bottom right hand side of the screen, uh, because that means everything to us. Uh, but tune in to some other shows that we have this week, um, such as tomorrow. We've got uh, Beige Rising Star Trek uh, at 830 p.m. Uh, career Day. How will the team break it to the USS Odyssey's cook? That is, Sun's first day on the new of the new internship resulted in him being reduced to a pile of ash 
by an artifact that was produced by the ship's replicator. Vedek Enyo uh, Kigara is uh, trying to save uh, the comatose Lieutenant Reltok by rising the by, oh, sorry, by risking the sanity of Lieutenant Commander Nolan McLaren. Uh, will he save or doom them both? So tune in tomorrow night for that. Uh, Tuesday, the Conan crew uh, is, is going to move to an every other week schedule. So they're going to have off this Tuesday. Uh, actually, they'll be off for two weeks because uh, I won't be around to run the show the following week either. But um, uh, Wednesday. Uh, we do have an Nadinia season three, maybe. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh, that's it. We're out. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that's again. That's where my announcements ended. <laughs> <laughs>